Facebook. Hey, Darth. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. May the fifth be with you. We're gonna wait until we get some friends in. It looks like we're doing a press conference. This is very serious. It's live. Oh, it's live. What's up, Mike? What's up, Jacob? Chris is in the house. Archie's in the house. Richard, how's it going? AS Ware. AS Ware is what? AS Ware is Vader. <laughs> Paul's in the house. What's up, Paul? 13 people. Daniel's in the house. What's up, Daniel? You're on Instagram? Yep. What's going on, Don? Chris in the house. Good day, Richie. Wave. We're going to wait a bit. What's up, Paul? What's up, Evan? We're going to wait till a few people trickle in. Darth Vader, you have anything to say now that it's not your day anymore? <laughs> May the force be with you. We have heavy breathing in the house. <laughs> Andrew's in the house. No, no. How much for the Richter stick? Wow, Andrew's getting straight down to business. I don't even know the prices of the items yet, Andrew. They're going to be all revealed tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time. Well, I've been talking and it's only been two minutes. Numbers are going down. Numbers are going down. There's 18. It's not, not bad. 13. 19. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, 19. So is this COVID friendly? I don't know. Yeah. Do you have your other mask underneath there, Darth? I, I can't. I can't. You only have one mask, Darth? I have one mask. The Darth Vader mask. I'm, I'm incredibly... It, incredibly intimidated right now. Guys, can I speak like this without my mask? Yeah, go ahead. We have some serious, serious business going on today. That is why we're sitting at the official signing table. I feel like I'm doing a press conference. Hey, Darth? Yes. Oh, sh <laughs> Call me Luke. Lucky Luke. Today, what we're doing is we're unveiling. Call me Father. Our 2021 spring collection of game worn, game issued, practice mask, or original painter mask. And it's a whole ensemble of one offs. The one offs are fun. Right, Darth? Yes. Are you a one off? I, I hope so. <laughs> Every time I'm looking at him, he's staring like blankly at something, so I don't know where he's looking. So we have a, a, a few very nice items that we've been sitting on and collecting for the last few, I don't know, last few months uh, for, for, for the occasion. And we're going to go through each item in details because each mask is so unique. As you know, the Game War mask, there's puck marks, there's scratches. Some of them smell really freaking bad. Some of them smell like curry, others smell like sweat. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole different game. Like in the game worn game, in the game worn game, in the game worn game, it's fun to have stinky masks. It's fun to have masks that have blood inside, that have been sweated in, that stinks like shit. Or curry. Anderson. <laughs> so. We're going to start warming up with a few items in the front. We'll go through each one together. And while I'm showing you the mask, maybe Darth here could read some stuff out of the LOAs for us. Because each item has a whole story to them. How's Instagram doing, by the way? Uh, eight people watching. Eight people? We have 8,000 or 6,000 followers. Is there all eight people watching? Guys, what's going on here? Uh, Instagram is BS. Facebook rules. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So we're gonna start warming up, warming up, okay? 
We're going to warm up with this game issue. Patrick Raw. What am I looking at, Zinkus? Okay, that one. Patrick Raw, game issued, stick, autographed in silver, underneath it, child, shall I take out the plastic? You're just pretending to look at your phone, I bet you can't see anything on the screen. Me? Yeah. No, it's, uh, it froze. Oh no, it froze. Yeah, man. Okay, now we're back. What do we got here, Darth? Read it loud, read it loud. Autographed in uh, silver. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's not Darth. It's XD. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Look at that. <laughs> Coho Revolution. And this one is dated the 10th of February, 97. It's written in French. Mm. It's written in French. So this is a Patrick Roy game use Coho Revolution autograph Goldie stick. 1st of February, 1997. This letter hereby certifies that the item AS00557 is a game used stick for Patrick Roy of the Colorado Avalanche. P. Roy. Roy? P. Roy. It's printed. Roy. It's Roy. P. R. O. Y. So. It's printed on the stick. For all of these items, the prices and the chance for you to purchase them will be tomorrow at noon on the website goaliemaskcollector.com and it's a first come first serve basis so if you buy direct on the website it's yours if you want to offer less then you just have a chance of maybe not getting the item maybe somebody's going to go on the website and buy before you but if you offer less then you get, might get the item at a lower price you just have to wait for us to answer you if you want to or if you want to offer more then then i like you <laughs> patrick raw there's a question, who is Coho Revolution? Well, that's just the brand. That's the brand. The brand, the goalie is Patrick Wah. Patrick Wah. Yeah. Can I have the certificate, sir? There you go. And every game used, game worn, practice worn items, uh, game issue items comes with an LOA. And you will have the COA with the hologram as well. The tamper proof hologram. So Charlie's saying, let's get ready to rumble. Then he's like, no, that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. Mike Richter. Let's give Darth the COA LOA. Darth. Wow, you have a mask underneath too. It's yeah. so COVID friendly. I love it. All right. Oh my God. Mike Richter. Mike Richter game used the Vic goalie stick. This letter hereby certifies that item AS00510 is game used stick by Mike Richter of the New York Rangers. This Vic Pro stick was initially gifted by Mike Richter to the Canadian Customs employee in Montreal, QC. This stick shows all the accurate signs of a Mac Mike Richter game used stick. There's no date printed on the stick. The big foil is still present. Mr. Richter is also printed on the stick. The stick model is the big. It's Pro. not Mr. Richter, it's M. Richter. Look. Okay, Mr. <laughs> I call him Mr. M. Richter. <laughs> Mike deserves to be called Mr. Okay. Mike is legit. The stick model is Big Pro 9050 Ultra Light. Oh, that's a one sexy stick. If you search up on Gary, this is such a iconic Mike Richter. I know he had a Vic stick in 94. Not sure which year this stick is, but sure is a beauty. And look at all the uh, the yellow tape on the tip here. Why can't I get a nice focus? Come on, on camera. I feel like a beauty YouTuber right now. <laughs> Can I get a focus? You know, nice tip there. You got... The COA? Focus on the tip. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what he said. You got the yellow tape here while Darth Vader is laughing at the shaft. Darth, I'm spirit serieux. While I show my stick on camera. Is it a nice demonstration of the shaft? A very nice demonstration. Mr. Richter shaft? Yes. 
September 3rd. So this one will be available tomorrow as well at starting noon on GoalieMassCollector.com website. So the question, <gasps> price for Richter, when are we going to see game use uh, cup release mask for him? Cup release? Cup release? Oh man, I... I cannot wait to get a game used Mike Richter, Mike Richter, Mike Richter Cubbly mask. I think that's gonna be like a hundred thousand dollars. But I want it. Let's get it on. Ed, if you have that, hook us up. Okay, we're still warming up. This is a mask that's been on our website for a while. Um, you, you were talking about the shaft and the tip. Shouldn't it be Mike Fister? <laughs> Too far. I'm sorry, Mike. If you're watching this, I'm, I really apologize. We have no manners here in Montreal. Darth has no manners. Man, that Darth. I see why he's on the dark side. I, I put the mask on. He 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 likes that dark side. Yeah. Darth. All right. He's part of the force. He's not part of the force for a reason. I'm back to being. So cute. this one was uh, acquired by a client, but it's being put back on the market. You know, it's not the most obvious of times right now for everyone. So this one will be available, and if you take it, you will be doing a client a huge favor. It's this a one is a very special game worn mask, legit game worn photo match a million times. Kipper. It's a Mika Kipper Kipper Soft game worn goalie mask, 2009-2010 Calgary Flames, 30th anniversary, painted on by David Argo on a Bauer Pro Shell autograph. <laughs> This letter hereby certifies that item AS01824 is game worn by Mika Kerpersoft. Man, actually, I love that voice. This is the <laughs> shit. I feel like that I'm like one of the Buffer Brothers. <laughs> I feel like I'm the Price is Right, and this is terrific. <laughs> Come on down, spin the wheel. Um, so, you got the David Arago okay. signature right here, original artist. And as XC was saying, so you got the Calgary skyline. And you got a nice gold foil here and uh, a tribute back to the old flaming skulls, the iconic flaming skulls of Kipper. Here you have the 1980-2010 in like a nice pearl watermark. I don't know if you guys see when the light hits it. It's pretty cool. Baseball Dad says amazing work. Amazing work. Yeah. And then in the back, you got the Calgary logo, the NHL logo. Is that the new, is that their new logo that they had back then? Looks like a stampede thing. Kipper written here. Definitely game worn. All the yellowed foam here has been hardened with the nice sweat that I'm touching with my fingers. I better go clean them afterwards. Made in Canada. If you don't see it, well, let me know, okay, man? Mm -hmm. And then you got a nice autograph here right where the Bauer logo is. Game worn. You clearly see the straps are dirty from all the action. It's been yellowed. It's so funny when we show these game worn masks to the girls. They think it's freaking gross. Look at all the nastiness inside. But all the boys like the nastiness. Right, Darth? Yeah. Oh. Is the inside of your mask dark yeah, as that? all about the nastiness. <laughs> Kippersoft, available as of, this one is available as of right now on the website already. It's been around for a while. So if you want to acquire it, this one is available right now on the website. Just go into the game worn uh, section of GoalieMaskCollector.com. There's a comment saying bring on the Habs stuff. Is there any Habs stuff? There is no Habs game worn right now. Well, there's that, isn't that all game? Uh... Oh yeah. There's like what game worn stuff there. But that's not part of the current collection. Kipper? Hey, Skippy. Kipper. Kipper. Kipper goes back onto the desk. And we're still warming up. We're still warming up. We're going through masks that we've had for a while, but never had a chance to really talk about or showcase. This one is really special. Mike Vernon mask made by iconic mask maker, Mr. Greg Harrison. Mr. Greg Harrison made this one for Mike Vernon in 
Mike Burden, Game War Goalie Mask, 1989 Calgary Frames, painted on by Greg Harrison on Harrison Shell. This one is small. It's much smaller than the other mask. You see the foam inside are completely hardened and yellowed. Oh man, this mask is old. What, what year, XT? 1989, right? 1989. How many years is that to today? Uh, Can Darth do mask? Mask? Math? 89 is in the 32 years. 32 years. 32, that's it. Look at the uh, chin cup here, completely yellowed. The straps are super old. And I remember on the LOA, it was said that uh, Mr. Harrison, oh, Mr. Verdon didn't like this mask because he wanted a longer chin. So he gave it back to Greg and Greg made him a new mask with a longer chin and decided that from then on, he didn't want to put the logos onto the mask anymore. And one thing that we always hear about Greg Harrison masks is that his triangular air vents are super smooth. So I will testify that they are very well carved. This mask is already available on GoaliemaskCollector.com. It's been available for the last month or two, so you could acquire this already. Good pregame show. What are you reading, um, Mr. Darth? I'm just looking for more comments, but there's no more comments. Last comment was price for Richter, and um, are we going to see game use? Uh, for, no. So this mask was also on the 1988 Calgary Olympics poster. That's cool. That's cool. And the uh, last mask of our warm-up, which is also available on the website already. This is a Frank Sepra painted mask. That's the special part about it is it's painted by Frank Sepra. Autographed inside here by Frank. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. Painted on an Eddie shell. And we got our exclusive goalie, Mr. Curtis Joseph, to put a beautiful autograph on this baby. So this is a game ready mask. Not a practice worn, not a game issue or anything like that. It's just a cool item. Autographed by Curtis Joseph, painted by Sepra, that we wanted to feature. And all of the Cujo mask comes with the special Cujo hologram. Uh, this pre pre uh, premium recreation mask of Curtis Joseph is a full-scale, fully licensed recreation of, of Curtis Joseph's original mask from his time in the NHL. Yeah, yeah let's see the LOA. <laughs> L O A, the letter. Okay, right, right there, right there. So, every Curtis Joseph mask comes with this Cujo L O A. With the Cujo hologram that matches the Cujo hologram. And check out the beautiful autograph on this one. Very cool, very cool. All right, any questions, guys? Now we're going to get to the stinky. To the stinkies. Shall we start with this? Ooh. Frederick Anderson, rookie year. Darth, give us the lowdown. Frederick Anderson, game warm rookie year. 2013-2014 Goalie Mask, Anaheim Ducks painted by Dave Hart on Bower Shell. A truly unique piece of history, this Anderson Rookie Year Mask is from 2013 NHL year where, uh, with the Ducks. Anderson also wore this mask in 2012 while playing for the Nor Norfolk Admirals of the American Hockey League a AHL. This mask has been has been photo matched multiple times with visible damage on the chin and upper grill area. The inside foam is hardened and yellowed from a profuse sweating. Uh, same can be said about the straps in general, um, general inner state of the mask. 
The mask is also painted by David Gunderson, Dave Art, who is signed, who, whom signed his name David G2012 on the bottom left of the cat eye grill. So guys, funny anecdote about this mask is when we got it into the warehouse, it was nicely packed, we opened it, and there was such a strong smell of sweat and curry that came out of the box that made all the ladies just go, Oh, what is that? And even us guys were like, Oh my God, that really stinks. So then I approached the uh, the, the, the previous owner of this mask and we're like, do you live near a curry restaurant? And he's like, no, man. Even the trader for the Anaheim Ducks, the equipment manager, said that this mask has always stunk of that smell. So that's the reality of this mask. But right now, oh, it still smells, but it's not as a, it's not as strong as, remember in class? As what it was when we took it out of the box. At first, it smelled so much that you could taste it. No. Oh yeah, it melted the paint off the wall. <laughs> all right, so this mask, we have so much to speak about this mask. Look at all the damage, first of all, that it has taken. And it has been photo matched so many times. If you go on Getty, you see this clear chin damage here. I don't know if he hit his chin on the ice or uh, he got a stick here, but it's completely cracked. The paint is, the paintwork is cracked as well. You got the David G autograph here, David G 2012, David Gunnerson from Dave Art. Amazing piece from Dave Art. Yeah, it's really cool to have a Dave Art piece in your hand because I think Dave, David Gunnerson is like the most prominent painter, I would say, in the last 15 years in the NHL. Has created multiple endless amounts of classic masks. And it's nice here because you have the actual name of the mask printed up here. I can't see because it's written so small. Like, you see the white writing here? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't have my glasses, but... So Ryan's asking how much. You'll know tomorrow, Ryan. It's going to be revealed tomorrow, Ryan. I don't even know myself how much is it, it's going to be. I think this one is called Duck 1. Uh, Jason is saying, I want all the stinky ones. <laughs> Created for Frederick Anderson by DaveArt.com. Written very small, secretly on top here, which is a really cool touch. I find that every mask is named a certain thing. And what else is there that's really special? You see the damage here, very noticeable, where the grill is rubbing against the mask. Rookie mask for Anderson. First mask he wore in the NHL, which is really cool. And as XC was saying, it's freaking filthy inside. Look at the rust from the sweat. And I don't know what's going on there. Maybe right. Frederick was at eating before games and sweating into this shell. But oh my god, this shell stinks. And look at the hardened foam inside. This mask has seen a lot of action. Also worn in the AHL. Not sure for how long, but that's been photo matched many times as well. And it has a nice orange metallic paint. This mask is going to be perfect for when we open our HQ. Do the game masks come with the, the mask carrying bag? Yes, they all come with the mask carrying bags. Whom are lying on the floor over there. You see it on the floor there? Oh, that's, that's my wife and dog, sorry. She's chilling. She's chilling. And what else is particular about this mask? I think that's that's pretty much it. And in the inside, you have the Dave Art sticker. It's really fun to hold like uh, original Dave Art pieces in your hand. He's like, he's like the artist of the moment, painted on a bower shell. So yeah, that's a really cool one. You got the little Ducks logo in the back. And the two obvious Ducks logos on the sides. So this one, guys, will be available as of noon Eastern Standard Time tomorrow on GoalieMaskCollector.com. You can make an offer when it goes live. 
if you want to go under the listed price or if you want to buy it right away and just eliminate the competition and just score it and go on the website you can buy it live tomorrow at noon uh, Anderson hi right, guys I'm gonna take a drink of water Thanks, any comments uh, no, the last comment was uh, the game mask come with uh, the carry, carry bag. Carry bag. What do we got here? Andre Pavlik Jets. Any questions or comments on Instagram? Nope. You guys are so quiet today. Oh, this one stinks too. Well, I got a swift of sweat right in my nose. So, yeah, Andre Pavlik practice worn mask 2013 Sony Tag Jets. The bomb attack painted by Dave Hart. Again. Yes. Uh, the top right corner is written the bomb attack. This custom artwork created for Andre Pavlik by Dane, Dave Grunenson, DaveArt.com. An incredible art piece. This artwork was painted on a CCM large fit number three shelf with the label 713717-50L written inside the chin. This mask was not a photo match to gain to a game which draws the conclusion that it was worn by Pavlik in practice sessions and the fit was not right for him. Via internet search we can clearly see images of the bomb attack mask official release by Dave Art. A unique chance for a collector to own a piece of history created by Dave Art and worn by Andre Pavlik. That's like the name Dave Art to own a piece by Dave. David Gunnarsson is like an, ac an accomplishment on its own, let alone the fact that it was game worn, practice worn or not. So you see here, it's printed in super small, the name of this mask, it's called the Bomb Attack. You guys see this? It's ridiculously small, but it's written there. And if you search on, uh, if you search on Google, you see clearly that Dave, ha Dave Art has released pictures of this mask which is really cool now when it comes to dave art mask oh my god is it loaded in details there there's like little details everywhere metallic blue paint little like jets and planes and bomber planes and whatnot a little bit everywhere this plane here is really cool actually you know what plane has a shark face on it uh, no. but it looks really cool you see the plane here and it it becomes a nose here. You get the shark teeth, shark eyes on the plane. Number 31 for Pavlik. Painted on a CCM shell. This is a great piece of collection for any Jets collectors. And then you got in the back here a bunch of like mini Jets pattern, which is really cool. What flag it is, Mary? <sighs> <laughs> is it Czech or is it Finland? I don't know. Guys, what flag is this? What nationality was uh, Pavlik? And then on the top you have, of course, the huge Canadian red maple leaf and the Jets. This is like the, 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 like the iconic... It's like the eagle to America. This Jets is to Canada. It's like, it brings up all the Canadian pride here. Like, Jesus, man. Like, you're attacking... You're the army, you're badass. What is it written here? Astro Per. Correct me, guys, but or specify to me. What is this uh, emblem here? Is it part of the Canadian army? Shan uh, says it's a Czech flag. It's a Czech flag, Republic Czech. Oh, and you got a bunch of little mini jets here in the pattern. And as mentioned, this was painted on a CCM, large fit number three. A really cool mask that was not photo matched, but uh, it was not photo matched to a game, but it is definitely released by Dave Art. So it's a cool piece to own, a historic piece still for any Jets fans, Canadian hockey fans, or Dave Art fans, or just Fans of Jets. Fans of Jets. Very cool. You want to see this mask? I already saw it. You already saw it. Did you take pictures of it? Uh, plenty.
Moving on. Oh, we got a nice one here. Czech flag, Czech flag, Slovak. Is it Czech or Slo Slovakia? Uh, Czechoslovakia. Oh, same thing. Right, it is. Yeah. Boom. Ed Belfour, practice sworn goalie mask in Canada, 2004 World Cup painted by Dave Art on Warwick Shell. Dave again? Yeah. Wow. Give me more. On August 9th, 2004, due to back injury, Ed Belfour was uh, unfortunately forced to redraw himself from the 2004 World Cup. This marks the top of mass shows Ed Belfour had used the mass in practice before withdrawing himself. Mass also comes with signed LOA coming from Ed Belfour and classic auction. Very cool. Okay, let me get my breath to talk about this mask because there's there's just so many things there is to talk about this mask. There, I'm getting so many ideas and thoughts at the same time. First off, I didn't even know that Dave Art did a, a ego mask for Eddie Belfour. That's really cool. That's really cool. And you see here, you got the Dave Art a sticker in the inside. And on this one, it's really cool that Dave actually signed his name here and named the mask. So I'm gonna read it to you guys. It says, David G, 2004, in parentheses, the Eagle, 2004-08-09. That's when the mask was painted. And this was a mask that Eddie Belfort was supposed to wear for the 2004 World Cup of Hockey. And due to injury, he couldn't play, unfortunately. But clearly, it has been worn before. It has a smell to it. And it has some scratches here. I'm not sure what would have caused this scratch. I don't know if it's puck marks or a stick or it was dropped. But it definitely saw some action. So I'm going to hypothesize that Eddie put on this mask, went to practice, and realized that his back was not cooperative and decided to withdraw from the tournament. This mask has the uh, iconic eagles that Eddie Belfour is known for, and it spells out E A G L E. Eagle on one side. E A G L E. Eagle on the other side. I didn't even know it spelled eagle until Eddie told me, and I was like, of course, now I can't unsee it. And it has a deep metallic red. And this is painted on a Kevlar shell made by the iconic makers Warwick. And what I love about Warwick is you know it's them when it's written like this with this signature here and this handwriting in the inside. You see many? Mm -hmm. So here it's written custom made for Ed Belfour for 2004 World Cup on this side. On the other side, it's written Ed Belfour, but it seems to have been have rubbed off. The straps are still fairly new, which leads us to believe that it wasn't worn for a very long time. The foam is still relatively soft and clean. The sweatband, though, is a bit dirty, and the mask definitely has a smell to it. So it's been worn. I'm holding... Eddie Belfour sweat in my hands. <laughs> DNA. <laughs> and what's really cool about this mask is that in the back here, you got the dollar coin, which apparently the, the, the Team Canada or the, the, the trainers or the people that work at the arena, they hide a dollar coin in the ice before every game for good luck. And then they put the Zamboni on top and there's a $1 coin hidden in the ice during the uh, the international tournament. So it's cool that there's the $1 coin here. Number 20 for Eddie Belfort. Team Canada World Cup 2004. Really the next best thing, if you're looking for a game-worn Eddie Belfort mask, and there's currently none on the market, this practice-worn mask is definitely a gem to be had. And painted by Dave Art too, which is a, uh, a huge plus.
This one will be available as of tomorrow, starting noon Eastern Standard Time on GoalieMaskCollector.com. Be ready to make your offers, guys, or to outbid the competition or to buy it straight on the website in USD. So, so that dollar in the ice is for good luck? Yeah. It's like the equivalent of the penny? Did they put a penny? No, no, well, penny is usually good luck. You find a penny. Really? I think American penny and uh, Canadian dollar are, are almost equal right now. <laughs> Ouch. Close to that? Ouch. Oh, you got a sticker from Warwick here. Central banks need to stop printing money. They do. Stop. Any comments? Uh, I just see Eddie. That's the comment. And uh, there's a great lid. Great I lid. Meant great bid? No, it's a lid. Okay, great lid. Yeah, okay. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my God. You, you couldn't see my eyes. <laughs> no, okay. Me. All right, are we, are we at our finishing piece already? Let me turn off the heat. Finishing piece, guys. Finishing piece. Mr. XD, what do we got here? Curtis Joseph, 2005-2007, Phoenix Coyotes game use goalie mask. Um, this mask was initially obtained directly from Coyotes after Joseph... This is not game used. Game issued. Game issued. Game sorry, issued. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. Okay, let me restart. Curtis Joseph, 2005-2007, uh, Phoenix Coyotes game issued goalie mask. <laughs> This mask was initially obtained directly from the Coyotes after Joseph left the team to play for Calgary in 2007-2008. All the dogs come out for the mad dog. This, this is a rare mask that was made for Curtis Joseph when he played with the Phoenix Coyotes 2005-2007. He mainly used a Reebok gold gear, skates, uh, pants, and sticks back then. And this mask has the RBK logo on the front. Our Joseph chose to go with the iTech mask while playing for the Coyotes. This Reebok mask has the Kujo nickname on both sides and the iconic Mad Dog mouth on the front. He has the initials on the he has the initials of his first wife and their four kids on the back of the head plate. There is one of the blue. Uh, there is one blue headband attached inside uh, the forehead area of the mask, with two spares in the Eddie mask custom carrying case. Pretty cool when it comes to Kujo stuff. Apparently, Curtis tells us that he keeps all of his game war masks. And if you watched the launch that we did with Kujo, you saw he had all his masks in the back. Not all of them, but like his favorite ones. And then apparently he has all the other ones too. So. Next best thing for a Cujo game war mask is a mask that Cujo decided not to wear. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> but it's pretty cool that it was made um, specifically for him and it was obtained by the client at directly from the Phoenix Coyotes organization. So that's really cool. And the funny thing about this mask is that apparently it, it, it's painted on a Protex Sport shell made right here in Laval, Quebec. <laughs> And it, it has the similarities of a Protex board show. It's painted in black on the inside. You got our Cujo hologram on one side here. And then you got the... Ooh! We almost put a dent on the Cujo mask, guys. <laughs> it's seen some action. We got the... AS number on the other side. This mask has not been worn for whatever reason by Curtis Joseph. Apparently he preferred the iTech that he's accustomed to and stayed with the iTech. Um, iTech style mask or though. Maybe he liked the fit better, he liked the feel better. But um, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool mask. I'm gonna guess that the Coyotes made this mask for Cujo before his arrival. Just in case he needed a mask and he was like, no, it's cool with me. I, I got my own mask. So you got the initials in the back, as XT mentioned. And the iconic Mad Dog here. Oh. 
And then you got the Coyotes Phoenix colors and the Cujo ridden. Iconic to all Cujo mask. But it's a pretty cool one, man. If you if you're looking for something that was around Cujo, this one might be the closest thing that you get at the moment. Available as of tomorrow, starting at noon on GoalieMaskCollector.com. This Cujo Game Issue Coyote Phoenix Mask. What do we have here? Some Coyote Colors. Hey, Darth, you're back. I'm back. All right, fam. That's it for our unveiling of the 2021 uh, spring collection of game used, game worn, practice worn, game issue mask. Do you guys have any questions for us? Um, I'm going to remind you that we're doing the unveiling now. All the prices will be available as of tomorrow on GoaliemaskCollector.com. And it's going to be first comes, first serve basis starting noon Eastern Standard Time. And if you want to send us your offers, you can send it directly via the website as of tomorrow after you've seen the prices. And if you want to buy right away and take it off the market for everybody else and ruin everybody's fun, then by all means, noon tomorrow, GoaliemaskCollector.com. Is there any questions or anything? Dark can't see anything. <laughs> Ryan Phillips says, what's up, Andy? What's up, Ryan? I feel like I'm about to like announce a, a fire. Oh my God, like it's so broken. Our, our Facebook, we can't see any comments. But on that note, guys, we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna go enjoy these masks for the last time. I'm sure they're not gonna last very long. It's been really fun uh, accumulating all these game worn or historic NHL pieces, and hopefully uh, we'll get a lot more in the future. Ciao, guys. Uh, uh, could arrangements yeah. be made for Kujo to sign the mask? Yes, definitely. We could arrange for Curtis to sign uh, that mask. Unless you want Curtis to sign the Belfour mask, and we can make that happen as well. Um, just wondering, did Curtis buy any chance to send you photos of his game worn mask from the live streams a month, a uh, few months ago? No, we're waiting. We're waiting to make a special um, live event out of that one, and we want to have Curtis back on back on the show, back in the family, and we're actually going to talk to Curtis as he's showing us each of his masks. So that's what we're working towards, and hopefully, we can do that soon. Remember, guys, get your vaccinations. Be safe. Wear a mask. Keep your distances. I feel like Justin Trudeau right now. It's like funny. Stop walking. Um, is that it for comments, guys? Any questions? Ah, good job. Was a lot of you turned it off. I was about to put my little input. Be like, get tested for antibodies before you. <laughs>